Okay, good morning everybody, it's Mike, and thanks for jumping on with me this morning on this call. Um, I have a very specific topic that I wanna discuss with you this week, because I know so many of you are really impatient. And I love that about you. I love agents that are impatient, that want things, that don't want to wait 10 to 15 years to become seasoned pros. They want it today. I think that's awesome. So let's talk about that. The title of my talk for this week is The Quickest Way to Give Yourself a Raise. You want to give yourself a raise? You want to make more money in the last quarter of this year? Well, let's talk about how you do that. The quickest way to give yourself a raise is to become more effective with the opportunities you already have. Now look, I know in our industry with so many people out there trying to get your credit card number and make money off of you that there's always the new, improved, and latest that's going on. All you need is this app. All you need is this product. All you need is this CRM. Gosh, are there an endless supply of those? Yeah, I know. Here's what I also know, that the quickest way to give myself a raise is to capture more of the business that I already have. We're spending so much time and effort and money to generate leads. We want more leads. Oh my God, I need more leads. It's like crack cocaine. I need my hit of more leads today. And I want to say this to you. Yeah, okay, but what if you just got better at capturing the business that you already have. Like home buyer opportunities, leads, right? So nationally, our capture and conversion rate on these is horrible. You're gonna have to generate a couple hundred to get one transaction. You are have to talk to a couple hundred people to get one transaction. And the season pro knows, you know what? If I improve my skill level, my conversational ability, my qualifying ability, I'll be able to increase the number of deals I capture in the opportunities I already have. How about your seller prospects? So many of you are spending huge chunks of every day trying to develop seller prospects and you want more and I just want to keep getting my pipeline more, bigger and bigger and I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I think though that you're watching people list their homes with other agents and you're a little confounded and confused and frustrated by all that. And I say, no, I, I get it. I've been there too. Uh, why didn't they list their home with you? You don't have the skill. Somebody else did a better job of demonstrating why they would be the right agent than you did. Now look, our little egos aren't going to want us to really examine that question, but that's what the answer is. Somebody else just did a better job. Why don't we get a little bit better so that we'll capture more of those opportunities? How about like people in my sphere of influence, people that I know, maybe people I'm related to, people I thought were my friends, and they listed their house or they bought a house with another agent, and I don't understand why that happened. I thought they were my friend. And you know my answer to that, right? They are your friend. They just felt like that other agent was more credible and effective than you are. And I know our little egos want us to believe that that's not true. That that other agent must have cut their commission or offered them cash back or there's some fixed rigged game that's going on against me. No. The other agent's just more credible than you are. Whether your little ego will allow you to examine that, I don't know. Referrals. Why don't I get more referrals from my past clients? Uh, they didn't think you did such a great job. They're not out there bragging about you to the people that they interact with in their lives. They're not. That's why you don't get more referrals. So what can we do about all this? How can I give myself a raise this year, which is the quickest way to increase my income? Well, four key principles, and I really want us to explore these four this week because it's so important. Number one, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. 
Number two, what, tell me what your follow-up campaign with people looks like. Because I think a lot of you are just hitting it and quitting it. A lot of you have become pickup artists. A lot of you, a lot of us, I'll throw myself into this bucket, a lot of us think that we're so special that because I handed my card to somebody one time or I sent them an email that I made a lasting imprint on them. I don't know. What, what's your follow-up campaign with prospects look like? How effective are you at dealing with objections? Now look, objections aren't all crazy. There's some very valid objections out there. I don't want to pay a 6% commission. What's crazy about that? There's nothing crazy about people wanting to save money. That's a real life thing. What's crazy is that I would dare to call myself a full-time real estate professional and not be prepared to address that objection. And my fourth point here is, can you effectively and appropriately qualify your prospects. Now look, my example to this is always the mortgage one, right? Because they teach this stuff in this industry and it makes me, sh makes me shake my head. I'm not showing homes until you've been pre-approved by my lender. Well, that's just crazy talk. I mean, I get it, and in the perfect world, that would be the way it worked, but in, also in the perfect world, everybody did everything I asked them to do when I ask them to do it. And when does that happen in your life? Right, it doesn't. So how effective and appropriate can I be in qualifying the prospects? Who's serious, motivated, and qualified? And who's not? And who's in some various degree of those stages? And how good am I at figuring that out? And to the degree that we can effectively answer those four points is going to be how strong we are at capturing the business that's already with us. And if we don't get more skilled, then you're going to fall into this game, which everybody wants you to fall into because they make money off of this, of I need more leads. Why? because I'm not very good at capturing the opportunities that come along to me, so I'm gonna to have to make up with that by more opportunities. If I'm only gonna capture one out of 200, then I need hundreds and hundreds or thousands of opportunities to get where I'm going. And I say, whoa, 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 tap the brakes there for a second. What if we just got more effective with the opportunities we already have? So are you practicing every day? Or do you think that you were just born this way, right? You just naturally have skill. Are you practicing and role playing with other colleagues to get better? What kind of training exercises are you going through every day? What kind of coaching do you have available to you? And is it challenging you to get better and more skilled? Okay. I've taken up all my time with you this morning, but the rest of this week, we're gonna dive into these four things. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. What does your follow-up campaign look like? How effective are you at handling real life objections? And can you effectively and appropriately qualify your prospects? Now this is Mike, and I want you to go out there and make it happen for yourself today.